All right, guys, we're already recording, so this mic check's coming a little bit late, but uh, we're going to do a mic check anyway. Let me put it on. I don't know where this thing is. I guess I'll try to put it here. Let's see if this picks it up or not. I don't know about that, but we'll see. I guess I'm not going to accidentally hit it too much. Uh, where's that? All right, mic check one, two. How do we sound? Can everybody hear me okay? And not too well? <laughs> uh, okay, I'll check on Discord to see how it is. Also, I'll check here to see if I can turn it off temporarily. I just realized I was talking to myself because I've got to unmute the microphone. Anyway, I was just saying we've got to turn the camera and then maybe bring a little more light in here. That's not a huge difference. That still looks okay, right? We're going to try it.
All right. Well, we're just about ready to get rolling. I see Maggie's going to host Mailbag today. Maggie, you want to start opening stuff? You want me to mic you? You want to mic, Mag? Maybe not. All right, Maggie. I'm going to sit right where you are. Thank you, Maggie. Well, good morning, everybody. Uh, it's Saturday, and it's time for Mailbag, just like usual. Here it is, 10 o'clock. I'm going to try sitting on this little stool today uh, and try not to directly face the camera uh, so that uh, I know it's weird, it's awkward. You know, we don't, uh, we don't do things here for like a typical uh, camera setup because we've got to be close to the kittens near the floor, I think. And so uh, it means things look a little strange sometimes, but it is what it is. Now, let's see how the cameras look real quick. So, uh, news of the week. <laughs> let's start with that, uh, as usual. So, uh, as you know, it's been a crazy couple weeks. We didn't do mailbag last week. We've got a ton of mailbag here, and this probably isn't even all of it because I didn't go to the post office. Instead, I... Uh, I picked up the mail midweek, and so anything that came in the last couple days isn't even here, and it's a good chance that anything that, that came in the last couple days is going to get pushed till next week. But uh, my plan right now is to do mailbag today for about an hour, um, like we've said in the past, and I haven't always stuck to, but I probably will today. Um, I'd like to go for an hour, and then anything that's not done today will push until tomorrow. So that'll be the plan. And the reason that we'll do it that way is uh, uh, I have lots of other stuff to take care of right now. Um, so, you know, it is what it is. Um, what else can I say? Uh, News-wise, um, things are looking good, actually. Things are looking really good. I'm pretty happy about it. Um, so uh, the two smallest kittens seem like they are doing great. If you look at the weight chart, um, you know, uh, Wellington leveled off for a little while, and it was a bit scary, but... For the last six days now, it's been nothing but gains for both of them, and that makes me feel really good about it. In fact, you'll notice um, that uh, they haven't been on the stream because I'm trying to get more sleep, so we've been taking them to the spa in the Pebble Mobile. If you were here for Pebbles, you might remember that she had a little carrier we would drive her around the house in. <laughs> uh, so they've been living in that, and they're currently actually in the spa still with DJ, who is having a real good time with them. And they've been meeting some of the kittens. They've met the medium-sized kittens. Uh, the cats are watching some sparrows on the porch, by the way, if you're wondering. So uh, they've met the smalls and they've met the bigs. And uh, everybody likes them quite a bit, so they're getting along well. And it's, it's just it's all good news. It's all positive. It's, uh, it really makes me happy. So that's great. Then um, for... Um, Let's see, Puddles, uh, the news for Puddles is, there's not much news for Puddles, but we've been trying to get her out in the house a little more often as she would like, but she still hisses at everybody she sees that gets too close, and um, it's kind of off-putting to some of the kittens in particular, so I'm making efforts to get her out more often and get her acclimated more often, but uh, in the meantime, uh, she sometimes has to spend time in the other room. Plus, hi, bud. Plus, um, she... Uh, um, has had a little bit of a diarrhea issue that <laughs> seems like everybody's had in the last week. That's been something we've really been dealing with. It's just poop everywhere. And I think for her, though, the issue is something different. I think for her, like we've seen with other mom cats, the issue is that she just overeats a ton of food. It's just an unbelievable amount of food. And so then she just has to poop it all right back out, um, virtually unchanged. And so we've been limiting her food. So you'll notice a lot of the times when the kittens are eating, she's out of the room. And when she's in the room, there's no food because uh, we've been feeding her in the spare room. And that's actually working out very well. Uh, it's, it seems like it's having exactly the effect that we would want. So that's also good news. And then finally, the last bit of uh, good news. It's all good news today. Um, the last bit of good news is our not mom cat now, Serenity, the gray cat uh, that's in the second annex has been dealing with some real diarrhea issues for quite a while. And uh, as of yesterday, it seems like it's resolving. She's not 100% yet, but it's not just the, the terrible poops. It's kind of the medium poops, and I'll take it. It's, it's much better. Plus, uh, talk about news and good news. This morning, uh, we saw something completely new from her. She was playing. She was up this morning before we were and playing with the toys in her room and carrying them around and batting them around and having a good time like a kitten. 
which is a real change and made me feel super good about her. So, so right now, um, yeah, everything's coming up roses. It's all, it's everything's uh, just great news today. And uh, the, the, you know, latter half of this week, I suppose, or I guess most of this week really been good news. But especially since yesterday with, uh, with Serenity's uh, poops starting to resolve, that, that's a real load off. So, so that's, uh, I think, all the news that there is. Of course, um, there is the news that uh, the older kittens have all, except for, um, except for Teaspoon, who goes in for his update on Tuesday, I think, the 23rd. Uh, except for him, they've all had their space. They're all recovering very well. And they're all uh, basically eligible for adoption, including their mom. Who, by the way, I've locked out because uh, I was just concerned she might start hissing at the kitten she's unfamiliar with. Although I might, if she's still at the door, I'll let her in and we'll see how she behaves. And then if she starts trouble, we can kick her out again. Uh, let me just see if she's there. Hang on. Um, no, no, she's not waiting at the door after all. Custard wants in, but that's not going to work with Logan in here. So uh, anyway... I think then that's everything. So like I said, we're going to go for about an hour and uh, around 11 o'clock we'll cut it off wherever we're at and we'll pick it up again tomorrow. Uh, Before I forget, uh, I'll try to mention this again later as we get to the packages section, but in case I don't remember, uh, I owe an extra thanks to Joy F. who sent a lifetime supply of draft, the the, um, uh, machine uh, um, uh, laundry detergent, that's the word I'm looking for. So Joy F sent a couple giant bottles of the Draft Laundry Detergent, which is super fun and uh, actually comes in real handy because I was just putting in the laundry this morning and uh, I realized that we're just about out of our usual detergent, so that stuff can uh, can go straight into use. Plus, um, <clears throat> obviously, with all the poop issues in the last couple of weeks, um, uh, I've been doing a ton of laundry. I just now got caught up to the point where there's nothing in the laundry basket uh, as of this morning, and that's... Also, good news. See, everything's everything's working out finally. Um, <clears throat> oh, and then uh, another thanks to uh, Raylene and Zenathon. I didn't bring in the food and litter that they sent, but they did send some Nulo and some Boxy Cat litter. Those are both the things that we're using, so uh, super handy. And uh, that really that's uh, that's really kind of you. You always send something that's really practical, and I appreciate that. So. Uh, thanks to you guys. I didn't bring that in, and I, I didn't bring the draft in either. It was really heavy. I actually thought it was going to be litter or food or something, and I opened it up, and I'm like, oh, that's what it is. So uh, one bottle went to storage, and the other went straight to the laundry. Um, so uh, thanks to all of you for that. Now, I want, actually, I feel like I'm sitting a little, like, this is too much, and the kittens want to hang out with me, and they're not doing it up on this in a way that everybody can see. So we're just going to try sitting down on this. It's not much of a pillow, but let's try it out for a bit, and then... We can switch things up uh, as we do, as we go along, uh, whatever seems natural. Uh, You may notice that the medium kittens have collars on. Little Bud's got this gorgeous blue collar. And they've each got their own collars on. And DJ approved of the colors, so I guess they're official. And at some point, uh, I guess, uh, I think they've already been published on the Discord. So uh, we'll probably add them to the YouTube description when we get a chance. Uh, Although, uh, you might notice that um, Sprout keeps losing her collar. Uh, It might have to get her a different one that doesn't fall off quite so easy. Although, uh, as I've talked about a million times, we we actually make them so they come off super easy because we'd rather have them come off than get caught on something. Uh, And when you have kittens this small, they're a lot stronger than you would imagine. They're very strong kittens. Um, Kittens are, and all kittens are way stronger than you would think. But... Uh, still, I don't want to give them the full force of one of these breakaway collars, so we make them breakaway easier and sometimes a little too easy, uh, as in that case. So if I see Sprout come by, I'll put that back on her and she'll lose it again in just a couple minutes, I'm sure. <clears throat> Everybody else seems like they're keeping their collars on just fine for now. So let's do some mailbag. We've got a stack of letters today, which is nice. And I guess we can start there. All right, now, uh, let's see. We've got a whole bunch here from Cat Lover addressed to various cats at the Academy. So let me just take a look, because I thought there was more than one from Cat Lover to Puddles. Oh, but they're postmarked the same day. That's what I was wondering, whether I had to read them in a particular order, but I guess I wouldn't know. Still, there is one here that is addressed to us from Cat Lover, so let's start with that, and then we will get into the ones that are addressed to the kittens. Hi, Hi, come here, come here. 
Come over here, Brawly. I know, you always look a little bit more nervous. All right. So this is a cute little card with a bunch of shiny cats on it, and it says, From the cats at Kitten Academy, it's the perfect day to let you know how we appreciate you so for the little caring things you do. The way you pamper, pet, and feed us, and so obviously need us, it makes us glad that we adopted you. Happy Mother's Day. Oh, well, that's sweet. Um, Dear Mr. A and Dr. DJ, you are the best cat moms ever, and we all thank you for all that you do for us. We love being your kids, and we love growing up at Kitten Academy, no doubt about it. Have the best day ever. We will love spending the day with you. Love all the cats and kittens at KA. Well, that's really sweet. Uh, thank you so much, cat lover, um, or uh, thank you so much to the uh, faculty and everybody else here, I suppose. Uh, that's, that's cute. Okay, uh, but there's more. This says, uh, can be read on air. And this is one addressed to Serenity. Excellent. And let's see here. Hi, bud, what you doing? What are you doing, goblet? Okay. Oh, this is cute. It's two, uh, it's a mom koala and a baby koala up a tree. And it says, Serenity, you're going to be an amazing mom. Here's to happiness that's happening and here's to you. Oh, that's cute. Well, uh, you know that it's not to happen now. Serenity's not going to be a mom after all, but I think it's still very sweet that you sent the note and you say uh, you are an elegant, chic, lovely mom cat and you are in the best care in the best place possible for you. I hope you have a smooth and safe delivery. Mr. A and Dr. DJ will see that you do. Don't worry about anything. All my love, cat lover. That's a, that's a real sweet sentiment, even though, um, like I said, um, Serenity won't be a mom cat after all, but I think that really works out for the best for everybody, especially for her. Um, and like I said, she's, she's really starting to enjoy her life as of this morning. I think she's, she's turned a leaf uh, and uh, really starting to improve health-wise and looking good. So I'm super happy about that. She's going to be such a sweetheart. She is the best snuggler maybe ever, uh, where if you pick, you have to... You have to invite her to everything, you know, like, uh, well, so far, maybe that's going to change now that she's feeling better. But when she's been, uh, oh, you know, over the last couple of weeks, not feeling too great, uh, uh, when I want her to eat, I have to kind of pick her up and take her to the food. And then she digs in and keeps eating, you know, I can leave the room or whatever. Um, or the same thing with snuggling. If I want to sit down, she doesn't really come to join me. But if I pick her up and put her in my lap and sit down, she does not want to leave. And she just, she purrs and, and rolls over and and needs the air and touches my face if I stop petting her, like, please keep going. Uh, and I, I'm always the one that has to call it quits because she never does. So it's just, it's, she's just so sweet. Um, anyway, all right, uh, this says, Mom Nibbles, the world's a happier place for us kittens, and it's got very sparkly little flowers on it. It says, all because of wonderful, uh, special, wonderful, one in a million you, happy Mother's Day. All our kitten love from ramekin, goblet, spatula, spork, and teaspoon. The letter says, Dear Mom Nibbles, we love you very much and like it when you play with us. You are so much fun and we love being your kids. We wish you the best cat mom's Mother's Day ever. We appreciate all that you do for us. I think it's true, too. She, uh, now that she has, has gotten over nursing them and she's gotten over her spay and they're all uh, kind of grown-up kids, uh, uh, she really does play with them a lot. She is a very playful mom cat, and you'll hear her sometimes asking for somebody to come play with her. She zooms around the house, and I think maybe unique among mom cats, uh, or at least in, in recent memory, uh, she also plays with Maggie, believe it or not, and will get Maggie to chase her, and she'll chase Maggie, and it's just in good fun, like they aren't fighting or anything. It's amazing. So that's, uh, that's pretty cool. She's really something else. Uh, all right, here's another one addressed to, uh, not no, the first one addressed to Puddles. That was for Nibbles. So this one says Puddles, and it's got a cat uh, holding flowers in a hot air balloon. It says, out of all the moms in the world, you're the best. That's why you're wished a happy Mother's Day with lots of love. Did I say your name, Maggie? Hi. Dear Puddles, you are a beautiful, loving mom cat. I enjoyed watching, oh, Maggie, <laughs> I enjoyed watching your babies grow and play. You will never know how much joy you've brought into my life. We celebrate you every day. Happy Mom Cat's Mother's Day. Love, Cat Lover. That's super sweet of you, too. And then one more from Cat Lover. Here we go. Living up to your name by sending so many cards for the kitties. 
Oh, and this is cute. This says, Puddles, you are a super mom. Uh, and it's got this real sort of retro uh, mid-70s style, um, I don't know, partridge family? Not really, though. What am I thinking of? Something that same era, maybe. Uh, anyway, inside it says, you do it all without a sidekick or flying or anything. Happy Mother's Day. Dear Puddles, you are our super mom. To us and our new family, the Tiny Tinies, we or adopted April Meowers. We love you very much and we love being your kids. Nothing could be sweeter. We wish you the best. Super Cat Mom's Mother's Day ever. I'm sorry, I, I read that with a weird inflection. Uh, uh, let me t take two. Uh, we wish you the best Super Mom Mother's Day ever. So happy we can spend it with you. That's super sweet. From Raindrop Bud, Brawly Sprout, Drizzle, and of course, Wellingtons and Squall. Um, and uh, although they haven't been able to spend any time with her lately, uh, they did get to see her again yesterday, and she was very nice to them, and she came up and sniffed them. She wouldn't nurse them, um, but she doesn't mind them kind of being around, uh, and that's fine that she wouldn't nurse them either. She hardly nurses her own kids anymore. Uh, I think you got to catch her at just the right time um, since they're weaned, and we're doing a good job of taking care of the little tinies, too. They are... Not weaned yet, they're just now getting their teeth in, but uh, Wellington, no, not Wellington, the other, Squall, has tried real food a few times now. Not a big fan of it yet, but has tried it, where Wellington won't even really try it. Look at my shoulder, kitty. I can ba kind of barely see a collar. Is it a white collar? I don't know, out of the corner of my eye, I can't quite make it out. That's okay, though. All right. Anyway, uh, thank you so much, uh, Cat Lover. Those are some very sweet cards for all the mom cats. We also have another one here addressed to uh, Puddles. And on the back it says, can be read on stream, but some of it won't make sense to viewers. So I might have opened this and read it on my own. Um, but uh, that was a little intriguing, and I thought we should all check it out together. So let's find out. Oh, wow, this is a book. It says, what is a perfect mom? And it's got this gold leaf and a bunch of kitties says, you can always spot a perfect mom, head and shoulders above the rest. Custard says, where are my riding shoulders? That's cute. It does kind of look like custard there. This uh, says, she may not approve of all you do, but still thinks you deserve the best. And we have, <laughs> we've got a kitty knocking over a food dish and little teaspoon here holding a, a bottle of organic. It did say milk, but that's been crossed out and it says organic chimkin. Uh, that's super cute there. The next page says, she's always ready to lend an ear until she puts you in the lion. <laughs> and then, uh, stay away, Maggie. There's a kitty uh, going pow, bam, or hurry to your defense. She knows you can get into mischief, uh, but trusts you to use common sense or not. And Mr. Whiskers makes an appearance here. There we go. Uh, it says, a perfect mom likes to meet your friends. She's there whenever you call. Little screaming kitten is so cute. It says, so loud. She always hopes you'll look your best and grow up straight and tall. There we go. Excellent. Uh, this is such a cute card. My goodness. There's a, a cat that looks just like Ari hanging from a wire with Ari's expression on it. It's perfect. And you've written Ari Y. It says, she'll go out on a limb for you even if you've been bad. She knows what will take your mind off of things. Uh, we have shrimp ice cream whenever you feel sad. A perfect mom sees that you're well-trained. Uh, but we'll let you relax a bit too. And we've got a cat in the litter box and it says poop explosions everywhere. Indeed. Uh, she deserves to be put on a pedestal. A perfect mom is you. Of course, that would be the rhyme there. Uh, happy Mother's Day puddles. Love you and all the other mom cats from Fancy Pants McDoodle for puddles. Uh, there's also a note here for Puddles. It says, meow, meow, mer, meow, Raul, meow, hiss, deadbeat, meow, meow, mer, mer, meow, meow, shrimpachino. Okay. Mr. A and Dr. DJ, I saw this and thought of all the mom cats that have passed through the academy in your loving care. As much as I adore the kittens and their antics make me laugh daily, it is the moms that capture my heart. Puddles has been a superstar mom and foster mom to her kids and her bonus kids. Please give her an extra spoogle from me. Thank you for all that you do, sharing your home, your lives, and your incredible hearts with us. I look forward to seeing you at KACON in July. Yes, me too. Uh, with love and great admir uh, admiration, excuse me, with love and great admiration, Fancy Pants McDoodle. P.S. Yeah, sorry for all these silly photoshops of you. Thanks for being a great sport. I love them. I, I think all the, 
the uh, stuff on the Discord, the Photoshops and uh, stuff. It's all so clever and wonderful. I just, I didn't ever get enough of that. So uh, one last card then. We have one with these cute little pink uh, unicorns and some rainbows. I love that motif. And they're sparkly too. And inside it says, oh, there's a kitty giving a fist bump. And it says fist bump. Because Mew got this. Mr. A, I know things are a bit tougher than normal right now. I hope it helps to know you have all of us here sending you encouragement and care. You're doing a meowvelous job. Take it one day at a time or even one second at a time if you need to. Sending virtual hugs, Frozen Tundra Crew. Thank you so much, Frozen Tundra Crew. I really do appreciate that. Um, and I appreciate all the support that we've gotten from everybody during this time. Uh, I'm glad to say I feel like it's finally resolving and things uh, are looking up. So that's good, but it's been, it's been really great to have, uh, to know that everybody's sort of got our backs uh, on this and uh, it's, it's meant a lot to me. And I, I know I haven't had uh, sort of the time or maybe even the mental energy to say that as much as I should, um, but uh, I, honestly, I appreciate it a lot. So uh, thanks to all of you uh, just for being wonderful people. Okay, uh, one last thing. This is not really a letter, but it was stuffed into our letterbox with the other stuff because it fit, I guess, and it does say April and Asheville on the outside, so we'll read this before we consider ourselves into the package segment, if I can even get it open. Hi, bud. You back for more? Come on. Have a seat there, floofer. I'm surprised Bud's the only one that's come to my lap so far. I guess the other ones are all playing in the corner, uh, which is hard to see. I'm going to turn that camera. Well, I think I should turn that camera so it looks down, maybe. I don't know, though. They'll just end up going someplace else, and then I'll forget that I moved the camera, and no one will be able to see anything. I don't know. Let's give it a shot. There's not much to see either way right now, honestly. That sounds like somebody asking to be played with, but it doesn't sound exactly like Nibbles. Let me check again real quick here. Maybe she's got her ball. Nibbles? Maybe. Come here. Nibbles, come on. You got your ball? Do you know where I am? That's definitely her. Nibbles, come on. Come on. Come on, Nibbles. Here she comes. Come on. Now you start hissing, you're going back out again. All right, this is your one chance. Don't start trouble. Oh, she's going to play with the littles. That was definitely play. Good, as long as she keeps that up, we're fine. She just chased little um, uh, Brawly there for a second, and all in good fun. So as long as she keeps that attitude... Oh, she just got kind of a smack from uh, Sprout there. And now they're sniffing noses. And that was all in fun, too. I know Sprout was trying to play, and I think she recognizes that. She is such a good mom uh, and such a friendly cat, too. She's gotten along better than any mom cat in recent uh, history with the faculty. Like I said, uh, being able to play with Maggie is, is really a feat. So... All right, well, we'll let her hang out here then until she starts causing trouble, if she starts causing trouble. And let's see, April in Asheville. There's a note here at the bottom. If we can get all this out here. I think it got stapled in. Oh, I heard a hiss. Hey, hey, Nibbles. Nibbles, now, now she's doing agitated tail a little bit. I think the note got stapled into the package. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it did. All right, we're going to have to get creative here. There are staples in the side of this package. Oh, there we go. She's going outside, so that's fine. The little tinies that she would be angry at don't know how to get outside. All right, indeed, this is stapled right through. All right, let's hang on to those staples so they don't go somewhere. Kittens are going to try to play with them. I think we're good. Okay, uh, let's see. So we have uh, also we've got some fancy feast savory puree naturals. Ooh, yum! And some cool cat stickers. 
Uh, oh, very cool cat stickers. All right, wearing sunglasses and some Shiba Meaty Stick Salmon flavor. And the note says, what is in the, the glasses this cat is wearing? Hmm, are they all like that? I guess they all are. There's something reflected in the glasses, but it's not super clear what it is. Interesting they would do that, though. Hmm. Uh, good morning, everyone, and happy Catterday. You seem to have your hands full with kittens and laundry duty these days. Are we going to set the record for the most kittens enrolled at the academy at one time? I think Serenity is getting ready to do her part to help with that. I've enclosed a few treats to share once they recover from their current tummy troubles, or feel free to give them to the faculty. I don't get to see my favorite Professor Loganberry often, so give him extra spoogles for me and my big ginger boy, G. Uh, um... Oh, extra spoogles for me and my big ginger boy. Gee, got it. Okay. I'm looking forward to seeing everyone at KA Con this year and have been practicing my recorder often, much to the dismay of my neighbors. Hashtag band nerd forever. I hope everyone watching is doing well. And as always, pet kittens and ramble on. April in Asheville, uh, a.k.a. Ginger Tuffy Cat. P.S. The stickers are for your collection to use as you see fit. All right. Well, thank you so much, April and Asheville. Those will get used as I see fit. And uh, where is the little orange boy? He's in the zone, right? You better not be peeing on that uh, beanbag chair again. There's been a few beanbag incidents this week also. Uh, not just from him, because one was in the, the medium kitten's room. I'm pretty sure that one was Brawly, because I caught her doing it later. Um, so, uh, I think she's got it fixed up, though, because uh, I haven't seen any in the last few days. Uh, fingers crossed it stays that way. I think everything's finally getting into the litter box from these kids, which means uh, they'll be able to get out of their room a little more often, and it also means I can start bringing in some more fun toys for them that uh, now that I know they won't pee in them. On the other hand, I'm not exactly sure what to do about getting them down here, if that's going to happen soon or at all, or if we're just going to have to arrange more rooms for them upstairs. Uh, we'll see. We'll see. It, it seems like they get along pretty well. It's really just their mom that's the issue. Uh, and I think if they're exposed to nibbles just a little bit more, she'll stop hissing even like the little bit that she's done. <laughs> she is definitely trying to play with them. But then when she gets surprised, she's like, wait, I don't know you. I just heard another hiss just now. But it uh, looks like they're taking it easy. All right, they'll work it out. Okay, uh, now we're moving on to the packages portion. And um, it's uh, about 10.30, so we got about half an hour. And like I said, we'll see how much of this we get through. And then whatever we don't, we'll push until tomorrow. And typically when we do mailbag on Sundays, I give myself a little extra time to sleep in which may or may not happen, but if we do push till tomorrow, uh, it will be at 11 o'clock. And judging from the amount of stuff here, I'd say that's a foregone conclusion. So uh, let's see what we got. Uh, I want to start with a box to put stuff in, don't I? Let's start with one of these Amazon boxes. Those usually have a lot of free space inside. And we'll see. Of course, now I said that, and I want that, so that will be what doesn't happen. But let's see. This one feels fairly light, too. Let's take our chances. It's just addressed to Kitten Academy. <laughs> oh, well, I picked the right one because there's just a small box inside this giant box, so that's perfect. doesn't even need a box. But this says Bedsure Comfy Pet Warm Pet Bed. Huh, now that sounds useful. There is a note. All it says is enjoy your gift. So uh, this sounds useful. I'd like to see what it looks like. Let's find out what a warm pet bed looks like. Um, and whoever sent it, please feel free to let me know. Hmm. More and more curious. Well, it's hard to tell what uh, it's going to look like, but I'm also a little hesitant to open it because you can tell it's going to expand to 100 times its current size never be able to fit back into anything. Uh, but it does look like it's got some Sherpa on one side that's going to be super warm and it's got a little rubber bottom so that it'll stay where you put it. I like that. Let's take a look. Ooh, it's much bigger than I thought. I even read the dimensions on the package and for some reason I wasn't picturing this much. Oh, I see, because these are mostly walls. It stands up very tall. 
Well, okay, there we go. I guess we've unboxed it now completely. That's done. We can use the box it came in to, uh, to put all this stuff away, including those staples. So there we go. Get that all out of the way. This is really soft, and it's, it's, uh, it's cute. It's got a cute little oval shape. It is the perfect size for some kittens to sleep in, and it's going to poof up a little bit more, I can tell. But like I said, it's got this really soft sort of semi-Sherpa in it and uh, high walls, and it's just perfect for, for little kittens. Um, I think anybody here would be happy to use it. It's uh, maybe a little big for the tiny tinies right now because they would just get lost in here uh, and probably end up under that cushion as they do. Um, but uh, let me know, whoever sent it, if you had some specific purpose in mind, let me know. Otherwise, I think it would be good um, to use maybe, uh, well, anywhere, a anywhere. It's just, it's perfect. Um, we, sometimes we've got things like these that are kind of at the foot of the bed upstairs and a teaspoon and all the rest of the faculty like them. There's one there right now. We could use this to make it two or, uh, I don't know, any kind of purpose. So, um, again, though, the note just says, uh, enjoy your gift. So we will. It's perfect. It's really wonderful and soft and lovely. Um, but, uh, like I said, if you had some particular use to which we should put it, let me know. For now, I'm going to put it in the space station. Look at that. That's a nice fit, too. There we go. Okay, I'm just going to put it there so we got it out of the sky. This guy's chasing his tail in here. Goblet, what do you think you're doing in the box, chasing your tail, huh? Are you going to catch it? Here, let me move this out of the way. I guess we could open this next. It's so cool, though. Isn't that nicely decorated? Nope. Oh, okay, well, I guess we will open it next. Uh, such a beautiful box from Joy F., and you can see it's got art on every side. Uh, this one's got a kitty sitting on the moon and fishing goldfish from a bowl. That's super cool. I love that motif. Um, this is the journey through life is sweeter when traveled with a cat. Uh, this is a cat holding an umbrella in the rain. Very topical. And then the last side says a house is not a home without a cat. And it's got that cute little singing kitty on it. Uh, those are adorable, Joy. And as I said, I think it was you that sent us a uh, couple giant bottles of Draft to wash our uh, poop explosions off in. I appreciate that. That uh, the, the extra scent in the Draft really uh, helps when you've got poop to cover up. <laughs> so uh, thank you for that. We got the knife guard, perfect, and we have the note. So let's see what the note has to say for us. Yep. Hey. Nibbles. Nibbles. I saw that. Nibbles just hissed at Bud, and he was like, I don't know what I did, <laughs> but I guess he's okay now. Uh, true to form, I moved that camera, and now you just can't see the things that are happening. So there we go. We'll move it back. I know it's very tiny, but if you get out your magnifying glass, now you'll be able to see that stuff. Bud, come here, pal. I got you. Don't let her get to you. Don't let her bother you like that. Okay. Hi, Mr. A and Dr. DJ. Hope all is well. I must say, I was so excited when I turned on the stream and saw Puddles nursing. Five teeny tiny babies. It didn't surprise me at all that she jumped into action to take over and be their mom. I hope her adooters know just how special she is. Puddles is mom cat of the decade for sure. I can hardly wait for Serenity. Uh, whoops, chaos is surely going to be inevitable. Hee <laughs> hee. I'm sure you will lose count multiple times as you round them up after a hard day of playing, pooping, peeing, and spoogling. Fun times ahead for us to watch from afar. Thank you for all you do. Best regards, Joy F and my cat bosses. P.S. Hope you enjoy the socks from the cat bosses. All right, well, we'll check it out. Uh, meanwhile, we've got Goblet here who is playing in the uh, tissue paper on top of the gift. Let's find out what's in here. I've got these two kittens here, which is why I moved this off to the side. Goblet, hi. If you want to play with the tissue paper, buddy, maybe we should do it someplace else, okay? Here, why don't you do it in this box? What do you think of that? You ever think of that, buddy? Okay. Try that out. So, uh, we start out with the Herald Advocate from Thursday, February 23rd. And we've got the Cracker Trail Ride Remembers Sunshine State's Cattle History. It does look like a, like a, a frontier cattle drive. That should be interesting to uh, read about. Hmm. 
Uh, wow. All right. Uh, thank you so much. I love local papers. And then this package, though. Wow, the stuff you sent. These are so cute. You sent individual bags for the kittens, and they're labeled. Uh, let's see if I can pull one out. Oh, wow. And you can see what's in them, too. Look at these labels. We've got Bud, and it's got these cute little blue flowers on it, and a, like a 3D, a little yellow, an actual little, well, plastic little flower. It's super cute. And then uh, this is all tied together so well. Uh, I'm getting climbed once again. I do want to open one and see what's inside, though. So let's take a sample here. Hi, who's climbing my head? So uh, we have, I see a laser. I think that we're going to see another one of those today, too. I saw a very recognizable package. We have a broccoli. Oh, my goodness, the broccoli toy. Uh, and the broccoli toy also has some silver vine nuggets on it, which are really popular with the, the bigger cats and probably with these guys when they get a little bit bigger. Okay, get back in there, broccoli. Okay, there we go. Uh, then we have, I see a Yao catnip banana. Uh, another one of these silver vine sticks with a silver vine nugget on it. Always a popular toy. Hey, bottles, uh, uh, nibbles, whoever you are, go outside if you're going to go outside. Here we have, I think it's a pea pod. We have two untubed fun tubes. Uh, you just turn the ends in and then you've got your fun tube there. Uh, we have delectables treats and a handful of various types of mice. I, I want to see who this is on my back. Come here, buddy. Come here, let me pick you up. Up, 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 all the way up, all the way up. Okay, or down. Oh, it was Bud. Hi, Bud. I should have been able to tell that from the feel. Uh, like I was saying, then we've got a handful of mice of, of all kinds. We've got a little electronic squeaky mouse. We've got some little rattle fur mice and uh, a real fur mouse. Maybe, uh, maybe not. Maybe it's fake real fur. Also here, this is very convincing, but I think it's fake. I don't know what would have this color fur anyway, this neon orange. Uh, and then, like I said, two tubes of delectables. That's wonderful. They're all going to love it. You can see the older kittens are already trying to dig into it. That is such a, a sweet package. Uh, thank you so much. Bud's going to love it. And all the others have what appear to be matching packages. And we lost Bud's little tag here. i got to tie that back on the right way. Let's see if I can get all this back together. You had it so wonderfully done. It's super cute. Tie this with a little bow. Oh, there we go. I think that'll do. So uh, we have a matching package here for Sprout, a little Sprout, and for Drizzle and Raindrop, Whoop. and Brawly, and of course Puddles. Those are beautiful. I love these tags that you've done with their names and the little flowers on them. They're beautiful. And there's more in here, though. We also have, as usual, uh, you've sent the Mary Meyer baby toys, one for each kitten. Drizzle gets a uh, Drizzle gets a giraffe. I guess I'll put these back in the tissue. Well, I could I could separate them out. I guess the tissue probably won't be able to stay with them the whole time anyway, unless we're super lucky. So we'll let you have this, okay? Right in there. Uh, so then we have this, oh wow, what a cute pink uh, sprout. That's adorable. I don't think we've seen these before, even though you always send a Mary Meyer toy. Uh, let's see, this one is Bud. That's very cute for Bud. It's a, uh, actually I can't tell what animal this thinks it is. I guess it's some kind of a dog. All right, Nibbles, time to go. Uh, uh, that, that, hang on, hang on. I told her she was going to go if she started causing too much trouble. Hey, hey, that's your kid. That's Teaspoon that you're doing that with. Did you get confused? It's still time for you to go. Come on, that's too much. Now you know it, too. She's going to make me chase her all over. Okay, go out in the rain. But when you come back in, you're mine. That was teaspoon she was making all that noise about. Isn't that strange? <clears throat> okay. Still, uh, whether it's teaspoon or not, all that growling is going to make the kittens uh, nervous. So that's fine. Also, teaspoon looked a little nervous, too. Okay, uh, still going here. Wow, Joy F., you sent so much stuff. This is for Raindrop. It's a little lamb. 
And then, oh, very cool. We got a unicorn. I'm assuming that's, oh, it's for Brawly. Aw, it's a unicorn with a little pink mane. All right, more and more tissue here. We can just add this to the stuff they're playing in here. There we go. Ooh, a big, uh, another, oh, I see. We've got another unicorn, much bigger, that's got a white mane and a pink horn, and it says puddles on it. So that's the big unicorn. Wow, I didn't. I had no idea there was such a selection of these things. There we go. Okay, there's a little bit more in here, though. There's a package for DJ. I'll open it, and we'll take a look at it together, and then I'll make sure that it goes to her. Hi, you two in the basket. What are you guys looking at? I love this rainbow tissue. That's pretty cool. Oh, okay, it's socks. And this one says, butter me up. And it's got sticks of butter on it with little hearts. That's cute. And then another one that's got a pill bottle. It says, uh, prescription for happiness. It's got a pill bottle with little kittens coming out of it. That's really cute. She'll love wearing this. She wears funny socks to work all the time. So I know she will definitely wear these to work. And uh, I won't wrap it all back up, but I'll put... I guess I'll put this on it that says DJ. Why not? Here, we'll just tie this up real quick. Got to do something with this anyway. I can't just leave the string around for the kittens. I know they would like it if I did. <clears throat> there we go. Okay, put that over here for a second. There's one more. It says Mr. A. I can guess what's in here. I'm going to guess it's socks. I definitely had a clue in that uh, letter and then... A little confirmation with DJ's present. We have green polka dots here, too. I'm sorry, I don't know how loud that is in the microphone when we do all that, but I guess it is what it is. Okay, all the rest of these I'm going to put right back in for the endowments. Oop, hang on, and then we'll take a look at those socks. Okay, just get that all out of the way. Oh, very cool. We have one that has uh, Rubik's Cubes, although not just the standard Rubik's Cube. I remember we had some of the other strange ones. There's the pyramid one and uh, this this like uh, one with the pentagram, the, the five-sided. Um, uh, I remember we had some of those too, the, especially the pyramid one I remember. Uh, and then we've got another one that has video game controllers on it. Very cool. All the recognizable ones. Uh, I see Xbox and uh, PlayStation and the Nintendo. And we've got some of the retro ones and the modern ones. Oh, Super Nintendo. Wow, didn't expect to see that there. Very cool. It's, uh, the sock is called Multiplayer. Uh, and then the other one's Puzzle Box Socks, because I guess Rubik's Cube is probably trademarked. <clears throat> of course. Those are really cute. Thank you so much. I'm excited to wear those. <clears throat> Hi, bud. Okay. Oh, yep. Nibbles. Nibbles. I think it's time for you to go. Come here. Come here. I think you should go see what else is going on. What do you think? Hang on. I'm going to trap her in here so I don't have to chase her everywhere. I guess you guys can hear me. I don't know why I'm trying to yell at the camera like we always have before. Okay, Nibbles, you go on out. You play by yourself for a little bit. Hi, Logan Berry. Everybody wanted to see you. Uh... Oh, you must have been out in the rain. I was like, why? How are you so wet? Did you pee on yourself? No, that's just uh, water from the rain. But let's smell this one. We're in here. Smells good. Okay, good. Good job. Come on, buddy. You are all wet. A little damp Loganberry. Come on, buddy. Okay. Well, now what? Uh, Joy F., uh, that is an amazing, uh, amazing package that you sent full of wonderful stuff. Uh, I'm going to check the cameras real quick here, and I'm actually going to mute my mic for one second so I can take a big drink of this and clear my throat. So give me one second to do that. Oh, boy. Uh, teaspoon here is chomping on Sprout. And she's playing, uh, but she is complaining a little bit. Oh, she's, she's being submissive, though. Teaspoon? All right, buddy. Oh, oh, okay, come here. Hi, come here. Okay. All right, one second.
All right, are we live? Yeah. All right. Uh, one more time, Joy, uh, thank you so much. I can't believe it. I, I think there's even other packages in this pile from you, but I'm not going to try to find them and dig them out uh, right at the moment. But I just, I, I so much appreciate it. This is some really great stuff. And those little individually labeled packages for each kitten are so cute. Um, plus, the Mary Meyer toys are super cute, too. I With some catnip, those are my great little snuggle companions for these kitties for a long time. I see uh, this family's starting to sort of gather together in this basket. Do you want to get in there, too, Sprout? No? You got better things to do? Okay. Well, that's fair enough. <clears throat> Oh, I was going to check the camera, too, just to see what angle we've got. If I zoom it out a little bit, uh, it still doesn't quite see them playing in the hamburger stand, but I guess the ceiling probably covers it a little bit. There's not much to see anyway. Uh, so, let's keep rolling here. Uh, wow, we haven't really made it very far today, but that's all right. Well, like I said, we'll make up for it tomorrow. And uh, we'll just keep going until we got it all figured out. This says Kitten Academy on the outside. I see some marshmallow bed material here. And a note that says, Aw, enjoy your gift to Mama Cat Puddles and the new Tiny Kittens. Enjoy your gift from Jody Lynn and my three cats and two kittens. Oh, full house. Jody Lynn, thank you so much. Well, the box, I guess this was, was all packed in that box, but it came out. And it looks like it is a marshmallow bed material blanket, but look at that. I don't know, except I saw a rainbow marshmallow bed once, but I've never seen one with a pattern on it before. If that's the new thing, I love it. This is such a cool pattern, too. It's beautiful. That's such a nice blanket for them, and I bet the tinies will love it. I bet these guys will love it. I bet everybody will love it. That's I love it. I think that I love that <laughs> the color and the pattern. They're fantastic. Jody Lynn and all of your kittens. Thank you so much for sending that along for Puddles and the Super Tinies. Uh, I assume that's who you meant, uh, and I think that we will end up giving it to them. Um, this this might be well. I don't know. I don't know if the real tinies are ready for a marshmallow bed material yet. I've put them in the marshmallow bed a couple times and they like it, but my concern is they might like it too much. Uh, and kind of try to nurse in it and uh, end up eating a bit, and we, we don't want that to happen. So we're, we're just, I don't know, we're playing it by ear, though, like always. Um, it's lovely, though. Thank you so much for that. Wow. Okay, let's put this package away. I just dumped this in here with them, and uh, they didn't move or get up or anything. So let's take a picture of how silly that is. I tried to put it next to them. Okay. I know, you are very cute. Well, you climb on in there if you want to. Uh, Maggie, Maggie, that didn't look like play. That looked like a little too much. You want to play? Come on, let's play. Okay, uh, let's keep going. Oh, I know what this one is. I think we all know what this one is, don't we? Um, it's a little bit of a different packaging, but it's got the uh, Cleveben cats on it. Hope I'm pronouncing, never know if I'm saying his name right. Uh, the Hawaiian artist. Uh, let's see here. A knife. So you always send little laser pointers, but that does not look like that's what this is. This is something else entirely interesting. And it says La Note. Uh, that's a little difference as well. So a little something different. Little yellow different. That's funny. You know, DJ and I were watching... I'm so old. DJ and I were watching um, uh, a thing on YouTube last night that referenced that Wayne's World reference to the old... Uh, hey, Maggie, Maggie, come on, that's too much. Uh, when Wayne's World referenced the new print ads with the little uh, yellow pills in them, and their, their slogan was like, little yellow different at the time. And I realized, uh, watching that, I haven't seen new print in you know, 20 years. I, I guess it just it made a big hit on the scene and then just vanished. Uh, but there I am referencing it because we saw it. So enjoy that, everybody who's really old. <clears throat> Here we have a little tiny duckling. Uh, or maybe it's a baby chicken. I can't tell. Oh, that's got to be Custard and Loganberry going at it. And they're going to make everybody panic. Oh, for crying out loud. Hey, come on. Come on, you two. Let's go. Custard, go do something else. Go do something else. Go on. Go do something else. Go on. 
No, go. Go. Go on. Go on. All right, maybe we'll just switch them. Come here, Logan. Come here, boy. You are wet everywhere. All right, Custer, do you want to be like that? Come on in. Come on, show him who's boss. Sneak out now, buddy. He's touching noses with nibbles, and she's fine with it. Oh, that's very sweet. Okay, where were we? Oh, tripping. So we have a little duckling who's ice climbing, uh, wearing uh, proper protective gear and uh, those uh, the shoes with the cleats on them, and he is uh, uh, really uh, in a bind, I think. But he's got his belay line on, so he'll be fine. And it says, you got this. Hello, Kitten Academy. I don't know how you do it all, taking care of the new bottle babies, the April Meowers, and Qtensils, plus the faculty and all the other stuff daily life throws at you. I am in awe. Since you're already running at full throttle, I'm sending you some fuel to get through it all. Enjoy. From Lisa G, Beans, and Cheeto. And I do recognize that what you've sent here must be coffee. Let's check it out. Ooh, two coffees. We have the Sumatra Kasho Coffee. Wow, uh, that sounds like exactly my kind of thing. I usually do a Sumatran. I can't... Oh, there we go. Well, I don't know, it's hard to smell, which is good. That means these are sealed very well. Oh, and we have another one that's a Fair Trade Organic Sumatra. Wow. Full body and low acidity. That's exactly what I look for. That sounds really good. I cannot wait to try it. And this is a place in Brookfield, Connecticut. I might, I'm excited to try this uh, because I might have a new coffee I can start buying uh, that's local. That would be really swell. Uh, Lisa G, thank you so much. Uh, and I, obviously the fact that we didn't do mailbag last week means that so much of these, the stuff that you guys so thoughtfully sent is uh, coming as things start to resolve. But there's still plenty of work to be done, and I'm going to be bottle feeding those kids for a while, and I'm definitely, I'm still burning the candle. Um, I guess I was burning the candle at three ends, and now I'm only burning it at both ends. Uh, is that a thing? Uh, can you burn it in the middle? I guess you could. You probably could do that. Uh, anyway, so yeah, things are things are resolving, but they're not resolved, and this is all going to go to good use, and, and uh, I'm, I'm super excited. So thank you so much. Wow. Uh, I guess we'll slide that over there for now. Okay, right over there. This should go over there, too. Oh, okay, out of the way. Uh, thank you very, very much. I'm so excited to try that, and it's exactly... I must have said at some point how much I like a, a low-acidity coffee, and that the Sumatra is usually what I go for in that variety. So uh, that, should be, that should be really good. Thank you. Uh, and we'll go to good use. I've already switched, because uh, I had so much coffee already this morning, I've already switched to a soda uh, of a variety that will remain nameless until they decide to pay us for a sponsorship. I'm looking at you guys, Coca-Cola or Pepsi. I mean, I'm, I'll sell out, but only for money. Uh, <laughs> anyway, all right. This is addressed to Kitten Academy from Rhonda, and I think there may be a note in this pile. Uh, indeed, there is. Sending you some good vibes and positivity, because you might need some at the moment. Thank you for all you do, as hard as it may be sometimes, from uh, Katya, oh, Rhonda, sorry, uh, Rhonda, uh, I don't know. This one says from Rhonda. Sometimes they get the, the name on there, and it's just, I, anyway, I'm sorry. Uh, let's see, uh, oh, this note does say the same thing, though, so there you go. From Rhonda, from Rhonda, okay, this is Rhonda. And Rhonda says, ooh, uh, it says, positivity, bright state of mind. Okay, let's see what that's all about. Oh, oh, wow. That's a beautiful positivity, bright state of mind candle, I believe. Let's see what it smells like. Light this candle while focusing on what you wish to create. Oh, wow, that smells really nice. Oh, wow, it, it reminds me of something from, uh, like a scent, uh, oh man, I can't place it, but I love that, that's just, that's wonderful, um, wow, you ever get one of those smells that just takes you back to something that smelled really nice when you were young, and, uh, wow, I don't, I don't know what that smell is, um, 
Hmm. Uh, I'm excited. If it makes the house smell like that, that's going to be fantastic. Uh, there's another one here, too. Let's see if it's the same. This one says gratitude, so probably a different scent. I guess this one smells like positivity, which is a, a great smell, and this one must smell like gratitude, which must also be a good smell. Uh, let's see, though. Oh, that's nice. This is a little more... Um, it's got kind of like a cedar uh, smell to it, like a cedar closet which I like. Yeah, it's got, it's got a very cedar closet smell to it, but there's also a little bit of an undertone of something a little sharper, like maybe a little citrusy smell in the cedar closet. Uh, that's, that's really nice, whereas this one is more like... You know, I want to say... I want to say Giorgio. I don't know if that's right. Um, but uh, I know my mom used to wear that when I was young, so uh, that it was probably really popular then. Uh, that could be it, but I don't, I don't know if that's it. It could be something entirely different. It does smell very like a like a perfume though, or like a cologne. Uh, that's those are those are great. Those are ah, I'm so excited. Thank you. I can't wait to make everything smell like that. Um, and let's figure out where can I put these. Oh, here we go, in the discard pile. Uh, thank you, Rhonda. That is that is fantastic. I am just I'm just really excited. Those are both great scents. Okay, here we have one that is addressed to Laura Nibbles Cutensil's Serenity, um, and it appears to be a drop shipment from Mickey's Pet Supplies. So that may be the extent of the note. But I know Mickey's are the ones that sell those great classic cat toys. Let's see if they also do put in a note. Look, it looks like a note. And another piece of tissue. All right, it says again, Laura nibbles the, the utensils and serenity. Uh, oh, look at that. For 5% off your next order, thanks for choosing Mickey's. Use code PAWS5, P-A-W-S-5, for 5% off. I guess everybody can try it from Ann and crew. That's cute. They also sent some little treats for the cats that are Fruitables. Fruitables Wildly Natural Chicken Cat Treats. Hmm. Interesting. Uh, some little samples of those, like they always do. And then inside... Is there more of a note or not? Balls and tubes for nibbles and the utensils. A cute catnip pineapple for serenity. All right, so balls and tubes for nibbles and the utensils. Perfect. Uh, and that is... These are cute. Uh, we have little ping pong balls here. Ping pong balls make great toys. These guys love them. And we have fun tubes, uh, which appear to be in packages of two in various colors. So those are the balls and tubes. Very good toys. And then we have a Yao catnip uh, pineapple for Serenity, which, uh, unless I hear otherwise, we will probably put into her endowments, since she has one in her room right now, which I haven't seen her play with yet. But like I said, uh, just this morning is the first time I've seen her play at all. So I think she's going to get into it. So we will save this for her. For now, I'm going to put your note with it and put the note back in the box with all this stuff, uh, since it's going to be a lot to label. And that will uh, make it easy for me when it's time to do endowments. We'll know exactly what it's all about. So I'm just going to put it right back in there. Uh, thank you very, very much, Laura. I greatly appreciate it, and so will the kitties. And I can put that right on top of here to bring downstairs for the endowment pile. All right. There we go. Okay, we'll put that back there since I don't need the Mickey's coupon to stay around. Oh, I should post that picture I took of these guys, uh, but let me take another one of them now that they're actually asleep in here under that blanket. Oh, that's a little too much. Maggie, are you going to cough up a hairball? Come on, go for it. You okay? Get it out, come on. Oh, you almost did it. Come on now, that's a lot of drama. Oh, I heard that. Nothing? Nothing's going to come out, though? All right, fair enough. Uh, let me post these pictures. These are cute. All right. 
I think that'll do. Okay, uh, 10.59, we're going to do uh, one more. Let's do one more. Let's do, because uh, this is a big pile. Of course, most of the rest is packages, so tomorrow should go a little faster. But I also, I want to get upstairs and feed those kittens some more. Um, DJ does, DJ does a great job of feeding them, and at this point, she can probably feed them just fine. Um, she was having trouble getting them to latch on, but now they don't really latch on for me either. Um, well, they did this morning though, so I guess it's hit or miss. Anyway, that's not the point. Uh, the point is I'm, I'm usually the one that's going to end up being responsible for feeding them anyway. DJ's just up there enjoying the playing with them, which is good. It's good for her. She doesn't get to do that as often as I do, so I'm glad she gets a chance. And look at that, uh, from Clint in NH, and now you all know exactly what's in this box without me even telling you. Clint, thank you so much. Uh, it says, Mr. A, here are bowls for Ms. Serenity. Well, thank you so much, Clint. As always, you send these beautiful steel, stainless steel bowls, and uh, they're just great gifts for you to send because they're practical. They'll last forever. And, uh, and they're, they're just, they're great. They're wonderful. So uh, thank you so much from, uh, from, from me. Uh, I'm going to write Serenity on these because I already put your little thing away there. Uh, let's see here. And I think, you, I think you're saying they're both for Serenity, so that's uh, extra generous of you. That's very nice of you to do. Uh, perfect. I'm going to write it on both sides. Perfect. Okay. Oh, oh, well, I just completely smeared that, but the S is very readable, so I guess that's fine. I'll figure it out from there. Okay, well, I'm going to stick to basically what I said then, and we're going to call this um, the mailbag for today. It seems like I hardly got through anything at all because you're all so generous and you sent such wonderful stuff for the kittens uh, and for us, and I, I do appreciate it both ways. Um, Again, everybody's been so helpful in getting us through uh, the last couple weeks when, you know, I've been uh, on top of, of, you know, the rough things that we had to get through. I've also had to get up like every two hours to feed the kittens. But uh, on that note, uh, I am still feeding them very often, but it seems like they're ready to get through maybe a full eight hours at night. Uh, maybe, you know, six conservatively, I think they could do without any trouble. And that's one of the reasons that I bring them into the bedroom now is if I have them right there next to me, then I can just sleep and I'll know if they start yelling for me to wake up, they'll make it very clear right in my ear that it's time to do something about it. So that really takes a load off in that sense. And uh, they've been, they just, they just go to sleep once they get in their box and they're very peaceful little kittens that way. Real easy to take care of, and uh, it's nice now that I don't have to try to feed them like every two hours like we were when they were really sick. So, uh, yeah, so things are looking up, but I still appreciate everybody helping out and uh, um, all the wonderful stuff that you've sent. Um, you know, if nothing else, we'll go to sort of restore our depleted reserves uh, that, that we've gone through. I don't think I've cooked anything here at the house in two weeks. It feels really weird. We're eating all... Well, mostly all takeout, you know, that we're ordering, but also people have sent us food that is wonderful. So uh, thank you for that. Anna Y sent uh, some soup that was really good. I, I didn't know you could send that, but now that I know about that product, I'll probably end up sending it to some other people when they need it because that's just really cool. It was good stuff too. Uh, and I know that's, I'm calling that out because it's right there and I'm thinking of it, but uh, there's, there hasn't been the only thing by a long shot. And uh I just I appreciate it. So thanks, everybody, so much for that. For now, uh, I'm going to get these kids back upstairs, and then I'm going to get all this stuff put away. Uh, I'm going to have to pack up, I guess, Logan or Custard somewhere so I can open the doors and get everything done. So I'm going to do that. For now, I'm going to take off the mic and switch us back to the regular sound so I don't forget to do that and say go to the bathroom or something. Uh, what movie was that where he does that, The Naked Gun? All right, I think so. Anyhow...
settle down. So we're going to pack everybody back up in their little basket and bring them up to their room. And we'll get the rest of this taken care of. Put that there so don't forget to put it away. Hang on, buddy. Don't climb right out of that basket. <laughs> this is so cute. Brawly sleeping on top of this basket, just like all the kittens have done. And it's a perfect fit for her right now at this age. Oh. Very cute. Okay, well, let's get a basket full of kittens and head upstairs with them, and that way Nibbles can come in and probably won't get too upset at everybody. Let's see. Get back in there. I know, both of you. Plus, there's one more over here. Sprout. Let's go. Let's go. Thanks for coming down for mailbag, kiddos. I'm glad you can play down here. Custard, buddy, I know you're calm, but uh, you were out all night, so I think it's your turn to be put up for a little while. And then maybe in a little bit we can. Oh, hey, watch it. In a little while we can arrange that you guys both out. Now, let's put you upstairs. You're being a little feisty anyway. Let's see. This is stuff that all has to go downstairs. This is stuff. Oh, this is going to go downstairs too. Put that in there. Here's. Oh, there's the good thing. Oh, I think those are labeled with. Sense. One says lotus flower. I guess that makes sense. And the other one is scratched off, so we can't read it.
Are you guys all going to just play in the box of tissue? I can leave it out. We can get you a real tissue. I guess you're having enough fun with this, though. Switch those cameras back so you guys can watch this. This is more important, isn't it? <clears throat> all right, let's move all this stuff out of the way for tomorrow. everybody well that's mailbag for today we'll see you tomorrow at 11 uh thanks again to everybody